everyone, it's Sarah here, your Aussie Ajima. What's your favorite restaurant? Do you have one? Whether it be in Seoul, Busan, Adelaide, or in your own country, what's your favorite restaurant? Comment below and tell me what your favorite Korean restaurant is. Today though, I'm going to be joined by two wonderful K-influencers from around the world. I'm going to be joined with Deblina from India and she's going to discuss her favorite restaurant and also Klon Twins or Carola and Carla and they're going to describe their favorite restaurant in Peru where they're from. Also after that, I'm going to discuss two, maybe three of my favorite restaurants when I went over to Seoul. One is a like a Korean barbecue place and the last the other one is a cake place you won't be disappointed it's going to be epic so sit back relax and enjoy this next video let's go Kaja. I'm Devlina. I'm a K-influencer and honor reporter from Kolkata, India, where I live. And my favorite Korean place to go for, you know, like lunch or a quick snack or just to chill is called King's Bakery. It's run by a Korean man, a Korean Ajushi. And, uh, you know, someday I want to visit Korea and just live there maybe for a while. So being in King's makes me feel like I'm already, you know, there. Um, they serve amazing bakery items, which are very easy to digest. You know, a very important part of Korean, you know, bread is that, you know, they are fermented really well. So so it's easier for your digestive system and that was the reason you know the Ajushi opened King's Bakery over here and um, yeah they have books in Korean and you know they play music by my favorite Korean artists including Bangtan Sun Yeondan so um, yeah I just feel really nice and the food is amazing like they serve authentic Korean food even though there are a couple more places but I love King's Bakery so yeah that's about it thank you so much again you know for uh, including me in your video and yeah bye bye uh, Amigo Amigo. everyone <laughs> we are the twins Carola and Carla well we haven't had the opportunity to visit Korea but we hope to visit soon <laughs> so our favorite Korean place to eat is two places in our hometown in Lima Peru the first one is Arirang. The name means Korean traditional lyrical song. The Arirang is also a theme, a source of inspiration for the media and other artistic expressions such as cinema, musical, comedy, theater, dance, and literature. This whole song strengthens communication and unity amongst Koreans, both at home and abroad. Arirang is in San Isidro, one of the districts of Lima, and has been in the country for more than 10 years. Yes. And the restaurant is medium in size and has two floors where there are private rooms with Korean decoration. We like to eat there because the taste is very good, the portion they serve is good quantity, you eat in private <laughs> rooms, and the best thing is the quality of food and delicious. The second one is Biwon. The name means the secret garden of the palace. Biwon just opened this year and is in San Borja, another, another district <laughs> of Lima. The restaurant is relatively wide. There are several places to eat. The infrastructure is modern and at the same time uh, Korean style. Unlike Aridan and other Korean restaurants, this one is more expensive. We like it because the food is very tasty, they serve you a good quantity, the attention is very good, they care a lot of their consumer and recommend you what dish to eat. You can also have fun doing karaoke. <laughs> and this is also a differential to other Korean restaurants. That's all. Annyeong!
So shortly before I returned home from Seoul, Deb and I met up with our friend Jenna and went to a Korean barbecue restaurant called Hwagieye. I think that's how it's pronounced, but it was amazing. I've honestly never actually been to a Korean barbecue restaurant before in Adelaide. I bit the bullet and decided to go to one and it was absolutely delicious. The meat was beautiful, the staff were beautiful, and um, there were lots of wine um, racks in there, which made the place look really, really good to the eye. And the um, person that was running the place there at the time was really, really hospitable and lovely. So thank you, Jenna, for catching up with us and Yoonsboro Cake does sell whole cakes only at this stage. If you are wanting to purchase a cake, visit the links in the bio. So this bonus restaurant that I went to, I have a feeling it's called Salburibap and it was located in the Gwangjang markets and Deb and I stopped to have lunch there whilst we were buying our gifts for our relatives and I had a jajamyeong which was absolutely delicious I've never tasted it like that the lady cut the noodles in front of me and cooked them that fresh it was absolutely delicious and it Again, as I find most places, the staff were absolutely beautiful and lovely. So go there and try their jajamyeong. Did you enjoy that video? What do you think now of Korean restaurants and how quickly are you going to be before you go out and try the closest Korean restaurant to your place? <laughs> it's so exciting. And I just wanted to thank Deblina and Carola and Carla for their wonderful input. Those places that they showed look absolutely delicious and I'd like to go there too. But I better go now, but have an amazing evening and it was my pleasure to serve you this year as a 2022K influencer. Thank you. Annyeong.